everyone, it is Mona here, Crab Clutch, and today we're going to make a Palmer Clay Polar Bear. For the Polar Bear, I'm going to use some white clay, some black clay, and I'm thinking, at this moment, I'm thinking purple clay. I've never made a Polar Bear before, so we'll see how he turns out. But I'm just going to roll it into a ball. If your clay is harder, then you know, squeeze it and knead it for a while until it gets soft, and then you can start working on it. Okay, I'm going to kind of make him a little bit more egg-shaped, I think, and he's going to be sitting. So there's his body, okay, and I'll take a couple pieces to create legs. Okay, I'm going to make him kind of flat on the bottom. And you can smooth it with your fingers if you have any any spots that you want to smooth out. Now I have a couple knitting needles here and they have specific clay tools. I have some of those too but these were easier to get in at the moment. I don't knit so I just use these for clay. Now I'm going to make the arms and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze his arms on there and kind of smooth it on. Okay here's his head. So you could even go from this and make a person if you wanted to. But he needs a little snout. Uh, I think that might be too much. All right, now what I'm going to do is use this to sort of help blend it a little bit because my fingers are too big to blend in there. And normally he's a little pointier. You can use this back side right there and begin to smooth it. Not sure how well you can see it when I'm doing it. Now you can smooth over it with your fingers, but I'm going to, I think, press just a little bit right there to kind of give him the paw. There, I just took the end of the knitting needle and just pressed in to make the indent into the ear. And do the same here, kind of flatten it out, put it down. All right, now what I'm going to do on the feet, I should have done this first, I'm going to do the same kind of thing, kind of press it up, and then kind of just smooth things along. And you can always use this to help smooth too. If you need a little help smoothing and you're having a hard time doing it with just your fingers, just use this as a tool to help smooth. So here's our basic polar bear. Now I'm going to take some black and make two very small um, dots for the eyes and then a small one for the nose. A little bit bigger, but still small. You could always paint on the features if you'd rather after the fact. Put this right on the end of his nose. Like that. Here's our polar bear so far. Now I'm going to use a little purple and I'm going to make a scarf. Okay, I rolled it into a snake and I'm flattening it. Now with my blade tool, I'm going to cut a straight end here and here. And now I'm just going to make some fringes. All right, so here I am pulling it around him. Just wrap it around him and kind of give it a little shape like it it's fabric, so it's not going to look stiff. It should have a little gap here and there, you know, a little bend here and there. and separate the fringes and now I'm going to just take my needle tool and just make a little pattern on on the scarf just to make it look like fabric maybe give it a little texture alright so change anything else that you need to change smooth anything and then bake him according to the directions on the package you can always texture the bear if you wanted to as well. 
Now I'm going to use a little hand sanitizer and a brush and try to, to wipe away any fingerprints that I have on there. Then I'll bake them and then we'll come back. Oh, if you want to make him an ornament, which I do, I'm going to take my needle tool and kind of create a little hole in his head. Sorry, bear. And then you can bake him. He's cooled off after being in the oven, and I'm just going to take a little bit of black acrylic paint. I'm just using a skewer stick, and I'm going to give him some eyebrows, just because I want to, just like that. And now I'm going to give his feet little paw prints, and I'm just using the back of the skewer with a little bit of paint. So just like that. Now I'm just going to take a little pink acrylic paint and another skewer stick and I'm just going to do this right in his ears. I'm going to add one of these little eye screws that I've used before. You can get them at the hardware store, you can get them at, I believe Walmart carries them, and then you can just turn this right into that hole that we created. Here's our little polar bear. He turned out kind of cute. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video. I hope that you like him and I hope you think he turned out pretty cute. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting and happy holidays, and let me know what else you'd like to see me make.